This is a review of set 6024 Bandit Ambush from the Dark Forest line. It was released in the year 1996, and this is a small sub-theme that was kind of a continuation of the 1988-1990 to 1990, uh, Forestman theme from the Classic Castle line. However, this sub-theme only had three sets and was released exclusively in North America, and as such it's quite hard to find nowadays. It originally retailed for $6.50, and according to the box is 58 pieces. Here we have the instructions showing the cover art and the two minifigures included. And as you can see, their shield insignia is the same as the Forestman theme from six years prior. Here on the back, we actually do get two alternate builds. This one's pretty wacky, but I actually do like the cave slash hideout look of this one right here. So let's go ahead and start building. So here we have the completed set, and first we'll take a look at our two minifigures. So here we have our first Forestman, and none of these guys have any names. Although we can see he does have this pretty standard mustache face. And then he's got a torso print that's actually pretty reminiscent of the original Forestman figs. As you can see here, it looks a lot like this, just with a belt added across the chest. Then he's just got standard brown legs, and a dark gray sword. As well as this shield with the Forestman insignia. And then lastly, this standard brown peasant hood. And I do like that this theme uses this peasant hood rather than just giving all the minifigures the Robin Hood hat. And then next up here we have our Archer Forestman, and he does actually have the same torso that was used in the original Forestman sub-theme. And I think that works perfectly fine here. He's got plain light gray legs, and then of course he's got to have his bow and arrow, and then the quiver on his back for ammunition. And he's got the same peasant hood as the one before except this time in black, which is cool to see it in two colors. And then lastly, his face print is a regular smiley face with some brown hair and some really long sideburns there, giving him a pretty interesting look overall. And I believe this face print is exclusive to this minifigure, who also only appears in two sets, making him kind of rare. So moving to the actual build of the set here, it's mostly made up of this dark gray big ugly rock piece on the front, as well as this 6x12 green plate at the bottom. Although I do like the use of these three brown arches as well as these large leaf pieces to make it look like there are trees or foliage growing out of the rock. And then they've got a little torch here just so that they can know where their camouflaged outpost is. And if we turn it around we can see the inside. They've got a little bit more of an armory here with a spear on this side and a halberd on this side. And then a ladder so that they can climb up the rock and peek out over the other side. And they've even got a small catapult here with a little bit of ammo. That just goes in right there like that. And you just flick it, and it works pretty well. And the last little secret here is that if you fold this ladder forward, they've got their treasure chest hidden inside the rock. These are pretty standard for most castle themes. Although when we open it up, instead of having gold coins, we've got these trans blue, red, and green studs, which I assume are supposed to represent gemstones. Which I guess makes sense, considering they're outlaws living in the woods. They probably don't have much need for gold coins and would rather barter with gemstones. So adjusted for inflation, the set would have retailed for $10.79, which I think is pretty fair since you get two minifigures, a bunch of accessories, and a decently sized build. However, current used prices have it at $32.74, which I definitely don't think is worth it for what you actually get, although I understand the price point given the rarity of the set and collectability of the Forestman themes in general. Either way though, I really do like this set and the minifigures, and this is the cheapest set in the Dark Forest line. But even still, it is pretty pricey. Anyways, that's my review. Thanks for watching.